Hey, everybody, it's Elizabeth and Joanne with World's Cup of Joe. Awaken your soul if you're new to our channel. If you like our content, make sure to subscribe. This is your new home for balanced energy in your twin flame connection. And when we say balanced energy, this is the exact energy that not only draws your soul, your twin flame back to you, but this is the energy you want to stay consistent with so that you can maintain a permanent relating experience with your twin flame. And that's what both Joanne and I are doing. We are in permanent relating experiences with our twin flames after we had already gone through the dark night, the separation, all of that stuff. And we learned this is just energy. And once you can work with the energy, you can master this connection, seriously. So welcome. We're super excited to get deep on this topic. And I think it's a topic that's relatable to many, if not all of you. So we got this question in from a beautiful soul. That is, she turned off her strongest leak. And her leak, and everyone's going to be different, her leak was a connection to a third party. And she turned off this leak. She closed out this leak, closed off this connection to her third party. And now she's kind coming back and she's wondering, her mind is wondering, what if that really was my only way to my person? And mind is starting to question and doubt that she should have closed that leak. So really let's tackle this because I think this is really relevant to so many people because the mind is so, so attached to the hits that it gets from the leaks. And it really does try to fool you into thinking that that is the way you can get your person back into your into your physical and it's not it is not so let's go deep into this go ahead joanne Woo! okay so you guys know how me and elizabeth roll like we are very tough love when it comes to this connection and this journey because we've gone through all the crap of dark night separation, experiencing this connection through mind and allowing mind to run it for so long. And it's just crazy. So this tough love inside us just pours out. So when we get these questions, it comes out of me and, and this beautiful soul that's asking this question, like she is so amazing, amazing. And she's like on path for her ascension doing so well and then these moments happen where all the things you've been doing right in your journey focusing on yourself making this journey about you it kind of like is good for a little bit and then you run out of that um right it's like you know i'm just gonna not believe that this is this connection like <laughs> right because it's like it's either they are your twin flame or not if they were just a soulmate then yes you can keep conversations with friends and family let's talk about it conversations with uh somebody from their workplace whatever it is to keep the conversation going and make sure they can keep tabs on you and everybody is all up to par that makes absolute sense. Soulmate relationship and keeping communication with everybody all around is awesome. This is your twin flame connection. If you truly believe this is a twin flame connection, all of you, if you believe that you are in a twin flame connection, the connection is energetic. And it's either you're in it or not. And if you're not in it, then yes, Follow those soulmate templates where let's keep everybody on tab on your phone, make sure they're up to date and, you know, send everybody, friends and family, coworkers, ex coworkers, whoever is in the queue, in the loop of what's going on in your life. Cause the question here was like, um, this is their only way to, to get to know what I'm thinking, doing and feeling. And that's, a leak. <laughs> There's a leak. What you're doing, thinking, feeling. I think you, you, this beautiful soul has definitely moved up to another level, right? Because before it was what her person's doing, thinking, feeling. And now she's like, the way for them to know how I'm, what I'm up to. And your person is you. And if you are worried about your person getting tabs on you without working on yourself genuinely for you, 
then you're still having your intent off. So your intent is off and the intent is still focused on your person so that your person can know what you're doing because let's get real. Worrying about what your person thinks and knows about what you're doing is still focusing on your person. So when you close the leak, you were putting all the focus on you. And then mine comes in and it's like, well, this is the only way he could get to me. So I did the wrong thing. If this is a soulmate connection, go through that route. Absolutely, my love. But we wouldn't have experienced all of the cray cray things that we've experienced if this was just a soulmate connection. And I would also add, if it was just a soulmate connection, those typical relating things would work. Absolutely. But this is energetic. And when it becomes an energetic connection, you have to put all your focus on you. It's very potent. It's really, really crazy how potent your energy is. And so that very question of this is their way to get to me. This is their way to keep tabs on me. And I did the wrong thing. It's definitely mine. And it's mine taking over your ascension. It's making your intent focused on your person. You have to trust in this journey. And really, if you are a twin flame and you are in the twin flame connection, you have to trust and understand the divine truth of this connection. It simply is your soul and your soul draws itself when you're aligned with soul. And this beautiful soul has received magic in this connection. They've seen that at play as soon as they surrendered and let go, voila, right? Voila, they're able to see their soul. But now by is doubting the actual work it takes to keep seeing your soul, to keep bringing in your soul. So if you truly believe that you are in a twin flame connection, it cannot be one or the other. It cannot be, yes, I believe when I'm aligned with soul, it will bring them in because soul draws to itself. But along with that, I also want to follow all these other steps that I do in 3D, which are staying in contact with people that know them so that I'm not, um, I'm still available to them. It's not any different from somebody who has their person on social media and they're posting all the time so that their person can see what they're posting. You all know how me and Elizabeth closed our leaks. I had to close all those leaks, love. I had to make sure there was no way for the mind to leak in this connection. I had to make sure that I chose me and I made this connection about me. So this is where you really got to go deep within yourself and know truly if you are doing this for you or you're doing this for your person, all of your alignment with soul, because that's when you know your intent is off. If you're diverting it back in any way towards your person, because they are you, your twin flame is your soul, all the focus and attention and love and energy that you want to give, send, update your person said that to you that's where they can be drawn to you that's where they can find you and that's where your person craves you what do you think love so we know this connection is energetic and for those of you that are still a little bit new let me give a little quick background leaps are anything that you have that keeps your focus on your person and not yourself that's what a leak is. It's the way the mind gets a hit, that energetic high off of thinking about your person, and then also the energetic low off of thinking about your person. So that's what a leak is. Anything that allows you to be able to fixate and ruminate on your person. It could be, it's different for everybody. It could be a sweatshirt that your person had that's hanging in your closet. And every time you look at it, you're thinking about your person. It could be a song. It could be a location. It could be anything. So those are what you need to close off because you need to be able to stop those energetic highs and lows that come from those leaks. So with that being said, there are two energies in this connection. There is fear and there's love. And this question, and fear is mind, mind energies, and love is soul energy. So when you are asking and when you are in that 
place of questioning, questioning is mind because soul just is. If you're in that place of questioning, what if I did this wrong? What if I put, you're in mind and you're in fear. You are in fear and you are not trusting, you are not surrendered to your soul. And that's what this question tells me is that you need to go back and work on your surrender. Because if you're still questioning how your person could be brought in, that means you still have a preference and expectation of your person coming in, which means you haven't surrendered and you're in the space of separation consciousness. You are thinking that they are separate from you and that they need to come into your physical in order for you to feel whole when you are already one. You're needing to get back to that place of unity consciousness where it doesn't matter if you see the physical in this lifetime or not, because you are already one shared soul, you are one. And when you could tap into that, that energy right there that I just talked about, where you have surrendered the physical, the mind of your person, and you have aligned with that one shared soul, that's the space where your person has to come in if they are your twin flame. Seriously, in some shape or form, in some manifestation, whether it's by their own act, like their own conscious act of calling and reaching out to you, or whether it's just soul leading them to you in, let's say, a chance meetup, you run into them somewhere. Regardless, when you are in that space and if you are really in a twin flame connection and you get to that place where you have surrendered and you have aligned in unity consciousness, that oneness of your shared soul. You don't ever need to see them, hear them, talk to them again. You have surrendered that you are one, and you're okay. You're in acceptance of what is, because that is soul. Soul has no preference because soul is the observer. And that's what you're learning in this connection, in this journey. You're shedding the mind and the mind's preferences and the mind's way it sees duality because there is no duality to soul. There is no good or bad. There is no right or wrong. There just is. There just is. And when you can get to this place of acceptance of what is, you've now matched the energy that brings your person in. And that's where you stay. That's the energy you emulate. And that's the energy that keeps your person wanting to be near you and needing to be near you because soul draws soul. But if you're in the place of mind, which is, well, what if I just did this? What if I do that? What if, what ifs are questions, their mind, they're the energy that repels. You got to bring yourself back to that place of oneness, that place that you are untouchable, that place of pure, authentic surrender for you for you to be at peace. And the more you can align with that, your person will come in and they will keep coming in. And that's what you embody day in and day out. That's your aim day in and day out. I need to shed my mind. I need to shed my mind's layers, those fear-based layers that's always worried about something. And I need to align to soul and be an acceptance of what is no good or bad, no right or wrong, pure being. <laughs> my love you put me in like this deep state <laughs> of like freaking unity consciousness because you're absolutely 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 freaking right when you get to this place of separation consciousness where you're separate from your twin flame this is what came to me when you went freaking soul mode on me love sorry everybody <laughs> get ready i love it and just like <laughs> Just like take this in because this is what came to me. If you're in that separation consciousness, that energy of separation consciousness, you've automatically separated yourself from everything that you are. Okay. So I really want you guys to feel this. Everything that you are is peace. It's love. It's joy. It's your twin flame. And everything that you are not is anger, is pain, is jealousy, doubt, right? Hopelessness, unworthiness. It's this place of lack and fear based energy. And so when you automatically forget 
the God goddess that you are, that is everything, right? God created itself and it's infinite versions of itself through all of us. Force energy is experiencing itself through us. When you're in that energy, you're back into that oneness. You're back into the soul that you are and was created to be. And really in this state, I really mean this. I truly, truly mean this, my loves. All of you feel this. I don't need my twin flame. I really don't. You know why? It's because I'm them. And it's not something I'm thinking of. I just am. I'm them. I don't have to see them. I don't need to touch their finger. I don't need to hear their voice. I don't need a hug. I don't need a validation. I just know. It's a knowing. I'm them. They're me. And we're one. And this is that same reason why my person is very drawn to me. Because I don't need them. Because I am them. And soul can reveal itself to me by confirming the oneness that we are when I am in this unity consciousness where we're one. And everyone that can see their soul in some shape or form, and this is why this beautiful soul is having a hard time closing a leak, is because they can see a form of their soul through this third party. But when you can continue to see your soul in the same energy that brought in those manifestations, right? Whether it's a third party that came in, whether you ran into them somewhere, whether they're messaging you, whatever reason it is that brought your soul in, I want you to ask ooh, where ooh, is... Oh, Joanne, this is huge. Yeah, this is huge. go ahead. You just made me realize. <laughs> you just made me realize love. why. Go ahead. Yes. Okay, so this is why people get stuck. They get into soul... And they manifest, let's say, the third party, whatever the manifestation is typical for you. Some people might be a random like meme text or a gift, or some people might be a sighting. You get, you get, the mind gets lost in the manifestation, thinking that it was the manifestation that is what's bringing the soul, when really it was the energy that brought in the manifestations. They got it backwards. And so they keep trying to use the manifestation to bring their person and forget that it was the energy that brought the manifestation. It's so backwards. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so you're clinging to the manifestation, yeah. which and is giving just, the manifestation power and not yeah. your energy power. Yeah. Which is actually what draw your person in, which was the energy. And then here's even the deep, even deeper, 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 deeper way to feel into this. What you felt in that high of getting a contact from a third party or having your twin flame see your story, you guys all know whatever, whatever leak is open, right? What you're getting and feeling before that came in, you were in soul. That's why they came in. That's why they can see your story. That's why they can have a third party contact you. That high you're feeling is you in soul. So you think like, oh, I need this third party. It feels so good to be wanted by my twin flame, right? I need this Twitter account because this is where I see it. Sorry, this is Elizabeth's leak, so it's easier to share. But <laughs> I see this Twitter account where I can easily find everything they're doing, thinking, and feeling, right? I have this Facebook story or messenger we're linked to and I can see when he's logged on or I can see what he's doing because he's posting stories or you know what I can post the cutest story and then you get that really really high high but here's the thing so I want everyone to feel this when you've manifested your person that high high you were feeling when they come in it wasn't your person that brought the high high you were in soul you were in soul that's why they came in and now the mind is trying to get that high again through your person. But it wasn't your person that brought you the high. It was you being in soul. But you were in soul. That's you are why they so came right. in. Yes. 
Yes. Right? It's, it's so almost then, like when people, it's like when it's, it, let's equate this to money and manifestation. Obviously, it's a little bit different. But when people, let's say, manifest this abundance, they think it was the abundance that brought the money when really it was something that was going on energetically within them that brought the money to them. It wasn't the money that made them feel amazing. It was the amazing feeling that brought the money. Yes, and the amazing feeling that brought the money is amaz- is the energy you emulate and sustain so you can keep getting right. the money. Right, but people then give the power to the money and think that it was the money yes. that made them feel yes. so amazing. But it's and not- that's where the lack comes in. Yes, and it's not your person or the money that gave you that feeling. It was you being in the energy that allowed the manifestations yes. to come. And all you have to do is emulate and stay in that energy so you can keep bringing your person or the money or whatever yes. energy, energy you were in that brought them in. <laughs> Feel Life. to the energy that yeah. you want if you want your twin flame feel into your energy your energy of love because that's what they are that's the energy you tap into the energy yeah. that loves you that yes. loves you wholly and completely and that's where your twin flame can meet you and this is why i always ask anyone who's ever had a call a one-on-one call with us you guys know you you can literally repeat my words the moment you say you've manifested i'll ask you how was your energy? I don't even let you finish what your manifestation was. I just ask you, how's your energy? And guess what? Most people say, I was high vibing. I was focusing on myself. I was working. Yeah, they were purpose. surrendered. They don't yes. know fully that they were yes. surrendered, but that's what they yes. were. They were surrendered. And they got the highest, highest high of soul, which is your twin flame, which brings them in. And then you're like, oh, I need my twin flame. Because that made me feel really good, but really you were feeling really good. And that's why your twin flame is there. It's backwards. We're trying to cling on to our twin flame, who we think brought in the energy. The reason why we think we Instead, need our twin cling flame. Instead, cling to that energy. Cling yeah. to that energy of soul. Juice it up. Juice yes. it up. Juice it up. Yes. Because we think our twin flame is what brought us the that energy that we emulated that brought them in and that's the balancing this is the balancing you see your twin flame you see your twin flame you see a third party you get a call you get a tax anything that you brought in through your alignment through soul is you being in the energy and so you just feel in the energy close your eyes Put your hand in your heart and just feel into that energy. Holy moly, how's my energy? What did Joanne ask me when we had our call or on that YouTube video where if you manifested, what do you do? Feel in your energy. And that's the energy that draws and brings your person. Don't get stuck on the manifestations. Focus on the energy that brought in the manifestations. And if you can do that, my love, your manifestations are going to be endless because soul is endless. Soul is infinite. Soul is everything. The feeling you were feeling that brought your twin flame in was unity consciousness. It's the freaking highest, highest, highest high because you are literally tapping into the soul that you are. This is some deep stuff. I think this is like yeah. one of our deepest freaking video. Like, oh. yeah, sure. <laughs> if you hear, need to hear it again to really feel into this, my loves, th- this is literally, literally the way to your twin flame. It's, it's like, you know, if everybody's in the line waiting for their twin flame. Their twin flame's on the other side. It's kind of like waiting on a, a line for the club, right? Everybody's waiting in line. And it's cold and, you know, we're wearing high heels or you're wearing like tight shoes and uncomfortable clothes. But you're like, damn it, I'm going to get in the club or I'm going to get in line. And my twin flame's on the other side. So I'm going to tough out the weather. I'm going to tough out all this crap I have to go through. And then guess what? There's a back door with a key and your twin flame's on the other side. And you didn't even have to wait in line, right? Waiting in line is mind. Waiting in line is following all these steps and thinking, I gotta do, let me do this, let me do that. Oh, I can't do that, let me do this, let me do that. And then in the back way where you're not doing, 
your being and that's they literally soul. come out they, they yeah. don't even need to you don't even need to open the door they come out and they're yeah. like there for you they're that's like- what soul is it brings them to you i know because that's that no rhyme or reason it's no rhyme or reason. My person just shows up. I just see them randomly. There's no rhyme or freaking reason. The per- Your person is in the back door. Door wide open. Hold on. Key, hold on. And then there is, there is no rhyme or reason because that's logic and it's energy. That's why. It's energy. And when you're in the rhyme or reason... You're no longer using the energy, knowing and recognizing what this journey is really about. So this is when you can now truly balance your connection when you treat it exactly for what it is, which is an energetic freaking connection. It's all about you and your energy your alignment with soul where the manifestations are simply the tools that got you your soul but it wasn't what brought in your soul what brought in your soul was soul that's energy we love you guys so freaking much i love getting deep like this if you caught this message you're in some level, my love. Seriously, you're in a high frequency level that can take in these truths. You were ready for these truths. And this is something that you can emulate. So if you're in a twin flame connection, and I understand too, not everyone is ready for this. So if your soul brought you this YouTube video and you got all the way to this end, your soul knew you were ready. And your soul wants you to keep getting deeper in soul so if you got this far and heard this message and this truth you're in alignment my love you really are stay aligned my love stay getting deeper in soul this is the way back way no key or line needed to your twin flame (laughs) all you gotta do is be we love you guys so much we hope you have an amazing day bye love I love.